Well, people in one local town asking how long does it take to fix the road? It's been one month since it was washed away in a flood. No one is sure what's being done or how long the work is supposed to take. Everywhere at 5, Stephen Hernandez went looking for those answers. I, I am scared to death to be here anymore. People at Timbertop Apartments in Akron are fed up, and this is why. Canyon Brook Drive still closed one month after a flood tore it apart. That used to be the road we used to go to all the time. It was our main road, but now that it's broken, I'm very disappointed and sad. City officials say the road is not safe for cars. That means timber top tenants have just one way in and out of the apartment complex, leading to traffic problems and even more importantly, safety concerns. It causes a lot of bottlenecking with the school buses yeah. that come down here. They're having to change their route. Just the other day, we had an accident up there and it was right in front of the entrance. Today, our camera saw crews working on the road, but these tenants want to know, has there been any progress on getting Canyon Brook back open? Construction workers tell me they're currently working on the sewer system for the road that was also damaged by the flood, and only then will repairs to the street really start. But there's still one problem. As you can see by the street sign, Canyon Brook Drive is a private street, so it's still up in the air who's going to foot the bill. You get a lot of conflicting stories that yeah. whether the property owns that road or the city owns that road. I reached out both to the city of Akron and the corporate offices of Timber Top looking to get clarification, but no one was made available, leaving people wondering if and when things will be back to normal. I'd be surprised if we Christmas time we're still going up the hill. In Akron, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.